Well, here it is. It's the biggest day in Bracknell Town Football Club's history in the Southern League Premier South playoff final. Gemma, the stakes couldn't be any higher, could they? What are your thoughts going into this huge occasion? Yeah, no, it'd be an ma absolutely massive game for us. Um, I think we'd give it our all today and let's just go out there, try to win it, believe and achieve, I'd say. But, you know, we give it our all and whatever happens and whatever the result's going to be, then, you know, we're definitely proud of all the teams so far, what they've achieved and how far they've come already this season. We've only just been recently promoted. So, you know, whatever the outcome, I'm sure that, you know, we'd, you'd just be proud of all ourselves because we're the winners and we smashed it at the end of the day. So Yeah, and I could agree more. No matter the results today, we are proud of this team. Now, something special. Like I said in the previous video, um, not just the league performance, finishing second, but getting to the playoff final, getting to the FA Cup first round, the County Cup final, which is still to be played, and getting to the FA Trophy, um, whatever round that was, uh, round five or something like that. Absolutely insane. Now, it's a bit of a mixed bag today because we will be the favourites because we, were, we got the home advantage and because we finished second, um, through our third position. But Truro have beaten us both times this uh, season. It was 3-0 just about five or six weeks ago here um, in what was a mud bath of a game. And then they beat us 1-0 at their place midweek only a few weeks ago. So we've yet to score against them. It's going to be incredibly incredibly tough, isn't it, Gemma? Like you said, yeah, we've but, got to believe. But today, you know, today might be the day we might just turn have a turnaround and beat them. They might bottle it themselves. And it was Gary Abersogan's goal on the 105th minute of extra time um, on Wednesday night. Um, to help us beat Chesham United to make this final. But for the opposition, Truro, they beat Paul Town on penalties. Tyler Harvey got their goal, um, which made it 1-1 after 90 minutes of regular time play. Tyler Harvey is one to watch out for. He's a fantastic player for Truro. He's got, he's got a lot of goals for them, so he is one to watch out for. We're expecting well over a 1,000 people today. Pre-game ticket sales were at 750, I think, so we're expecting a bare minimum of a thousand plus could be 1,200, 300. We don't know. It's going to be an insane crowd and hopefully an insane atmosphere from both sets of fans. But Gemma, now is the time. Dare I ask, what is your score prediction? Mm, I don't know. It's a bit of a tricky one, this one. But I'm going to go because I've got confidence in everyone at Bracknell. So I'm going to go with the 2 1 win to us. I think it. It'll be a close game, and I think we're going to go out there and give it our all. So I'm going to. Win. Yeah, and I'm going to say 2 1 as well, but I'm going to set an extra time, Gemma. Um, I reckon it'll be 1 1 after 90 minutes. We're going to, both teams will give it their all, and we will win 2 1. And it will be um, Gary Abersogan again to put us through to the National League South. Um, well, wouldn't that be great, the scenes, if that happened? But yeah, no matter what happens, good luck to both teams today. No matter, no matter what happens, we are incredibly proud of this Robins team this season. But it's finally time, Gemma where we finally say, let's get inside Bottom Meadow.
you're joking. Not another one? <laughs>
immensely proud. That's all we can say, isn't it, Gemma, of this Bratnell side? Yeah, um, proud but heartbroken. Heartbroken is a good word to describe that ending. For half an hour or so that game, I thought we were going to go up. Um, obviously, the penalty from Sanders, and we had Gary Bissogan score that great goal as well. Oh, it was his goal. It was absolutely amazing. I thought myself personally, it was going to go extra time. Yeah. I just, just want to say, there was no half-time thoughts because Gemma was in the pitch and it was so crowded, wasn't it? But yeah. what an atmosphere, what a game. We are so bloody proud of every single one of you watching there playing for the team. It's the team this season that's been absolutely fantastic. The, the league finish, making the playoff final. We've got a county cup final coming next week. We've got, um, we've done the FA Cup run up to the first run against Ipswich and the FA Trophy run as well. It was, it's been a fantastic season. Look, this team will come back even stronger next season. Look, Ratnall, I love you, okay? That's we all do. I can say. All I can say we is love I love team. you so damn goddamn much. Gary, you're amazing. Michael, you, Michael Eacott, you are absolutely amazing there. Just have them a few saves. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. You, you, you all, all of you, you just all completely amazing. Keep your heads up and keep going. And yeah. next season, that'll be us. And this crowd today, right, right behind the goal, were fantastic. Um, people joining in chanting, younger people that have not seen before, that I don't think I've seen before. We want you guys back. This, this is what we need all next season, every game. Let's make Bottom Meadow a fortress all season long you know it's what we need we need a bigger crowd every the more, season the more support the more fans the more atmosphere yep and you know even if we don't have as many fans it'll still be an atmosphere but everyone makes a difference at this club and we love this club for what it is it's absolutely fantastic no trouble we are we just love Bracknell this is it now and uh, yeah we look forward to next week Bracknell versus Marlow in the county cup final the Burks and Bucks at Ascot's ground and um, the race course coincidentally but I'm looking forward to that one you won't make it Gemma but next season Gemma we're gonna go for it again aren't we and do you know what win no, lose or draw we're, we're gonna not be gonna there. go for it we're gonna win it we're I think draw. this team is fantastic as long as we can keep a majority of them I think we can go for it I don't see why not we can yeah we, we this is a fantastic team and we're so proud of you and sorry but it's I'm gutting just... it's gutting like we, like we said many times but that's football that's what happens but today we we gave Truro a bloody good game and I mean a bloody good game. They did not expect that, but they won. So congratulations to Troy City, Gemma. I think it's fair to say they, they, they've been yeah, an, another great side. Yeah, to you. Um, all right, you played well and you had our chances and that, but like, it's just a shame it never went to extra time, really. Yeah, it should have gone to extra time. But, but Troy City, well deserved. Um, a fantastic side. We obviously couldn't beat them all season. So yeah, best of luck to next season. But look, thank you for watching. Hit like if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. And we will see you yeah. next time.